Good morning. It was a bizarre day and night of running from police, but O.J. Simpson is now in jail, charged with two murders. Today, Saturday, June 18th, 1994. From NBC News, this is Today with Mike Schneider and Jackie Nesprov. And a good morning to you as we get underway from uh, New York City on this Saturday morning. Uh, many of us up late last night, as I assume many of you were as well, watching uh, an absolutely amazing scene unfold there on the West Coast. It seemed as if the whole nation was watching, and uh, O.J. Simpson finally gave himself up at his Brentwood home uh, around midnight Eastern time, 8 o'clock Pacific time. And uh, the entire evening, uh, many of us watched the basketball game as, as the evening progressed, getting our first word of that as, as the game went on, and uh, people were just absolutely stunned. We'll be talking about the O.J. Simpson story this morning with the uh, Metropolitan Editor of the Los Angeles Times and uh, recapitulate that incredible freeway chase and ultimately his surrender at the uh, house in Brentwood. And Mike, we will also talk to legal analyst Jack Ford about the courtroom battle O.J.'s facing. But first, we've got this news. As we mentioned earlier, football star O.J. Simpson is under suicide watch at a Los Angeles jail. He was arrested last night after police chased his car along busy freeways and onto the grounds of his Brentwood estate. NBC's Larry Carroll joins us from Los Angeles now with the latest. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, Jackie. O.J. Simpson's sudden disappearance at midday Friday angered authorities, embarrassed his attorney, and surprised nearly everybody. By 5 p.m., when his attorney held a news conference, Simpson, in a suicidal mood, had escaped his attorney and doctors and was at large. Accompanied by lifelong friend and teammate Al Cowlings, Simpson had begun a mad dash over miles of L.A. freeways. His destination, unknown. O.J., wherever you are, for the sake of your family, for the sake of your children, please surrender immediately. Before he left, Simpson wrote three letters. Right One thing. was read in public. So why do I end up like this? I can't go on. No matter what the outcome, people will look and point. I can't take that. I can't subject my children to that. After a 90-minute chase that ended at the door of the Simpson estate, Simpson surrendered to police and was taken into custody. This morning, O.J. Simpson is being held without bond. He'll be arraigned on Monday, they say, or Tuesday, and prosecutors say they'll decide later whether to seek the death penalty. Jackie? Larry, do we have any word at this point as to his mental or physical condition? Well, as we uh, reported, he is under suicide watch in the Los Angeles County Jail. He is said to be extremely depressed. We keep looking at the pictures of, of the chase, um, but somehow the pursuit seemed to have been gentle. Um, was the police worried? The police uh, believed they had the entire situation under control. Of course, they had an abundance of, of officers in pursuit. And as you say, the chase, the speed of the chase, never exceeded about 45 miles per hour. They were determined they were simply going to uh, play the long game and, and wait it all out. All right, thank you very much, Larry, for that live report. NBC's Larry Carroll in Los Angeles. And we'll have more on this story in just a few minutes. Meanwhile, in other news on this Saturday morning, the presidents of North and South Korea may soon talk face-to-face North Korea's president offered the summit through former American President Jimmy Carter, who was visiting, and South Korea's president accepted. Leaders of the two countries have not met since the peninsula was divided 49 years ago. And that is the news on this Saturday morning with the weather. Here's Al Roker. Good morning, Al. Good morning, Jackie, Mike, everybody. And uh, we've got some real summertime weather to talk about. Let's go to it, first of all. 